Hi everybody out there in e-commerce land, this is Ken and today I'm going to teach you about attributes. They function a lot like categories in the sense that they're both assigned to products and they both act as classifications. The difference is an attribute differs by not locking down to one exact path. To define your attributes, first you must create an attribute group, then inside of that set each one of your attributes. Okay, so to get started, let's navigate to the left and highlight the t-shirt icon and click on it. Now a new menu is going to pop out. Click on the word attributes. It's going to bring us to our attributes section. You're going to see all of my existing attributes, which you won't see in your site unless you've previously set some up. So let's go up to the top right hand corner and click on the new button. Let's go ahead and give our new attribute a name. I'm going to go with acoustic. If you would like to be able to drill down into further attributes, click on the drill down button. You'll see additional items there. You can choose to hide them, set the sort order, tie it to a varied inventory, but we're just setting up a basic one this time. So you're going to want to turn these options on if you want these attributes available to theme designers when they deploy their themes, both of these. Let's go up to the top, hit save. It's been saved successfully. Now that we have successfully created an attribute group, we can go down and create some actual attributes to go in the group. Since it's an acoustic guitar, I'm going to start by adding the first material. Let's go with maple. We're going to want this to be the first one, so we'll set our sort order. Let's give the attribute page a title. Uh, we can set keywords, meta description. Let's go ahead and set a custom URL. Hit save. Let's add one more attribute. Click on new. Let's go with Rosewood. We're going to want it to be number two. Give it a page title. A custom URL just like we did the other one. And hit save. Now you will see your two attributes within the attribute group. Congratulations. You're done.